Hello everybody, it's Slam Right Try Hard and you guys are my tryhards. And I want to show you another gameplay of six player battle, which is really cool. Um I like this game type. I'll probably do this in battle. There's also a five player sprint where you try to get to um um forty lines cleared before everyone else and there's five players. That one's kind of, uh, that one I could see myself playing. I could see myself playing six player battle. And I could see myself playing, um, two player battle. Arena, I don't really know. It depends on whether or not you guys like it. I don't really like it. I'll play if you guys like it. And, um, uh, eight player rally, I don't really play that much. I kind of want to figure out what it's all about. See what it's like. Um, never. I, I don't know. It, it looks kind of weird. You get to like this finish line. It's a whole weird concept. I'm going to have to research first. But for now, let's go over the gameplay that I got just now. Now, I won this game. And as you can see, you see me once again executing the strategy that you see me execute hundreds of times, which is putting a blue one down so I know how, how long it's going to be until I can put a blue one down and get Tetris. Now in this one, you're going to see that I kind of stacked like a little tower of all the ones that I could get to a square block right in the middle. And basically, what I was trying to do is get as many knockouts and as many, anything I could get and get that tower as short as I could in the end. And I destroyed now, if you guys don't mind, I'm going to look at it in two times mode and look over it again real quick. Just because I have a lot of time in this video and I kind of want to go over some things I did. Now, as you can tell, I did that. I barely got to cover the concept. It would be really hard to, like, commentate everything I was doing unless you guys wanted me to play it in real time and make it to where, like... I would I would be commentating it right now at the same speed I would have been playing. I could also do live commentaries if anyone wants me to do that. Um, I don't know. Tetris is just really fun, and as you can see, I'm working that tower technique in this one. It's it's actually a really interesting technique in that using it doesn't always work. But, as you can see, I get a knockout right here, which basically ends the game, because I, someone got it, someone got knocked out. On their screens, it shows that they've been knocked out. So, I'm, uh, yeah, that kind of sucks for them. If you guys don't see, um, uh, that last part where it says replay complete, that's because I'm in replay mode, which you can go, like, in the end, you'll go, be in results. And this is the lobby I just finished. One knockout. I was the only one with a knockout. Nine. This guy was hot on my tail, but he was a lot higher. He didn't have a knockout. Pretty much once you get a knockout in any more than two-player battle, or even in two-player battle, in any kind of battle one, because that's my expertise, I can tell you very well about that, you've won the game, unless they're close to getting a knockout on you too. Unless it's a close game, once you get a knockout, no matter how quickly they come back, they're not going to win. I'm going to show you this tab. This is really cool. This will tell you everything you got. I got five singles, two Tetris, one max combo. Um, what is the KOs? I like to look at how I KO'd people. Replay. Of course, that's what I show you guys the videos in. And then Mission, which I should probably buy that. It would give me, um, I would have to break away ice to each roll. Basically, I'd have to do really well for several times. Now, since that's going to be basically the wrap-up of my video, because, of course, I always, I have a, I'm using a free thing, which I very much do recommend that you use Scream, ScreenR.com. It's this really cool in-browser, you don't have to download it, so you can use it at your school and stuff, screen recorder that will host your videos for you, and has a link to put them straight to YouTube. It's really cool, I think you guys should use it. And it has a really simple and easy to use and quick and just a perfect um, setup and a mic built in to the software. So, if that'll be all for today. I'll see you guys later.